Good evening, Chair Granatis, ladies and gentlemen of the board, Dr. Garrison and the Golden Nugget, Bruce Patterson, Garwood, New Jersey. I, I guess comments. I, I didn't catch what organization this guy John's from, but uh, but the interesting part is I, I'd like I'd like him if he's going to come up again to to explain. And I'm not going to leave a look at him because I know I'm supposed to be directed you, but to explain how a director of finance has a full-time job and yet also gets paid another $120,000 a year, supposedly legal according to John, for, is it a part-time job? $120,000 for a part-time job? Makes no sense, but I, I, I or is it a full-time job for 120,000? Because that makes sense, however, She's also working a, a full-time job. So two full-time jobs, I doubt it. So, I mean, you know, this guy, John, uh, you know, I, I guess who knows who he is. So it just doesn't make any sense. People are grifting the county taxes. Not good, no bueno. Let's continue on. Uh, I'd like you to at least express uh, uh, what this is about. 1067, approving constitutional officers, 2024 salaries. I'd like to know what they are getting and what the increase is. More than likely, it's 3%, much like you were given across the board. But, you know, who are these officers and what are their salaries and what was the increase? Uh, also, 1068, uh, county manager to d adopt a 2024 uh, inclusionary wage increase. Just a little uh, comment on that, please. Uh, there's also... Oh, 1097 was actually answered, so that, that was good. Uh, there's another one I do have a question on. Oh, no, that was actually removed from the initial, from the initial uh, agenda earlier yesterday. So, so, anyway, so my, last, my last issue also, and I talked about this last meeting, was the, was the Linden Biosolids Processing Facility. And there was a $30 million bond going to be floated on that. And I want to comment on that because that in that $30 million bond, and I asked uh, County Manager Oatman has responded to this, that it was the third round funding. Well, guess what? The first bond was for $50 million. That was for completion of the project, specifically worded in the documents. That was 2019. 2021, a second bond came out, $15 million. That in the wording says it was for the completion of the project. I assume that there was, this is 2021, I, I assume that there was some kind of uh, problem. I'm in construction, okay, so there's a cost overrun. $50 million, a lot of money, but okay, bond number two. So then uh, in later in 2021, there's a press release said, it is now at mechanical completion, which, which I don't know if you guys know construction, which basically I doubt you do because I've talked about it so much and it glazes over, even Bibby yeah. Taylor, the director, but anyway, mechanical completion, that means it's all ready to be put online. It was all tested, the controls work and everything. That was 2021. Then everything went dark. Never heard any press releases, never heard any news. You guys never even talked about it. Boom, November 2023, two years later, two years later, a bond comes out. This is that third funding, $30 million. So the question is, what happened to when the completion was done in 2021 to all of a sudden now, you want another $30 million? Something tells me that there's some major issues with the biosolids facility. Maybe you don't know anything about it because I know you just want to ignore everything and you just vote yes, 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 yes and, and give out raises, you know, what the hell? This is the Union County. I've talked about the issue so many, so many times. You know, we're still, I don't even know what's going to happen to that excavator buried in the mud out there. Uh, you got... PSE and G now filing a lien. You got the DEP on your case. I mean, th this county is all screwed up, but yeah, let's give out raises to everybody, whether they deserve it or not. And I'm not, and again, just to, you know, this guy, John, I don't know. But anyway, there's a couple of people that, yes, they deserve raises. There's no doubt about it. But I'll tell you, there's people out here that don't deserve the raise. And I guess I can't mention names. So, but anyway, biosolids, I suggest you look into that. I suggest you call Director Taylor, the director of the UCIA and your finance director up here to find out what the hell happened in those two years to have suddenly a $30 million bond being Thank floated. Thank you, Mr. Patterson, for your comments. Thank you.